Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics' industry-leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur-built and light sport aircraft. Today's video, introducing Skyview HDX. Hello. In today's video, I'd like to introduce you to the newest member in our Skyview family, uh, our long line of integrated EFA systems we've been selling since 2009. Uh, today, you're looking at the Skyview HDX, uh, and this is the 10-inch version of HDX. Now, the HDX display simply builds on the existing Skyview system. It, uh, interfaces with all of the system components that also work with the Skyview Classic and Skyview Touch displays. And by that I'm referring not only to the panel modules you see here in the video, but also the, the behind the panel options such as the AHARS module for flight sensor information, the engine module, autopilot servos, ERINC module for integrating with IFR systems, and etc. So again, the HDX display connects to all the same modules and in fact if you are interested in upgrading to an HDX display the transition is seamless it has is a direct cable connection replacement to an existing Skyview Classic or Skyview Touch. So uh, with HDX we expanded on the Skyview display interface the general form factor of the display itself that the screen is the same it's a 10 inch display you see here and there's also a 7 inch version of HD, HDX. Um, however, we've changed some physical aspects of the bezel design. Our objective was to make the EFA system just more usable in a small aircraft cockpit, particularly in turbulence. We've all seen touch become more and more prevalent in avionics, both EFA systems and navigators. Uh, but touch can frankly be problematic in light turbulence in a small airplane. So many of the aspects of our design of the HDX display are directed at improving usability and turbulence. Right off the bat, you'll probably notice the new bezel design that tilts the, the button shelf and knobs out at about a 45 degree angle. That change alone gives you a resting place for your hand on turbulence. Uh, we've also eliminated the joystick function on our knobs. In the Skyview system, each knob also could serve as a joystick in four directions. In HDX, the knobs only rotate and center press. Um, that removes that variability of trying to use the joystick in turbulence. Uh, we brought the screen portion of the display out to the very front of the bezel, but we made the bezel protrude a little bit from the panel. Again, it gives you a shelf on the sides and the top for resting your hand on if it happens to get bumpy in, in uh, turbulence. Um, the, some other mechanical changes in HDX include backlighting of the eight buttons across the, the, the shelf here, and the knobs themselves have lighted rings underneath. Uh, the system works beautifully at, at, at night in a, in a dark cockpit. Now, in terms of software, we've also made a number of changes from what you know, if you're already familiar with Skyview, the menu system itself has dramatically changed. We have brought the four most commonly used features for VFR moving map navigation to the top level menu here, direct to nearest info and flight plan. You should be familiar with those features from the original Skyview and from a host of other VFR navigators. And then HDX moves the controls for how the display layout is managed to this screen. Here you can see I have options for uh, setting a full screen view of the EFAS, or I can add map to the display, and I'll cover other options on screen layout in a future video. And then finally, all of the other uh, features and functions in the, in the HDX system are layered underneath this menu button. Um, HDX makes extensive use of these touchable control pages, um, icon-based menus, and so on. Um, I'm going to cover all of these various features in HDX in a series of videos. But for now, I just wanted to introduce you to our great new product. We're very proud of the system, and I think you'll find it's an excellent addition to the Skyview family. Thanks for joining.
For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com, where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.